Meet Sally. Her balanced lunch contains a sandwich, a banana, and a yogurt. All of these foods contain carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Carbohydrates include fiber, starches, and sugars. All sugars and starches provide four calories of energy per gram. The sugars in her lunch include sucrose, fructose, glucose, and lactose. Did you know that sucrose, one of the sugars found naturally in the banana and added to the yogurt, is the same as in table sugar? Let's follow the sucrose molecule's journey to see what happens once it enters Sally's body. The body's digestive system is like a giant food processor. It starts with chewing, which helps break down the food to smaller pieces. The sucrose molecule travels down Sally's esophagus, through her stomach, and into her small intestine. Enzymes in the small intestine work like scissors to break the sucrose into one glucose and one fructose molecule. Glucose and fructose are absorbed into the bloodstream and carried to the liver. Here, fructose is converted to glucose or used for energy. The liver releases the glucose back into the bloodstream for use throughout the body. Did you know that glucose is the primary source of energy for the body? Our bodies need to maintain a balanced and constant supply of glucose because many organs depend on glucose to work properly. The brain, for example, relies primarily on glucose to function. In fact, restricting the brain's glucose supply can impair both memory and ability to focus. When the glucose derived from her lunch is used up, Sally starts to feel hungry. Her liver can make new glucose from its stores of glycogen or other sources to help Sally last until dinner. Sometimes, Sally may eat more than her body needs, and the extra calories could be stored as glycogen or fat until Sally needs more energy. Maintaining a balanced diet, moderating overall calorie intake, and keeping physically active helps keep the body well-fueled and healthy. For more information, visit sugar.ca.